go. Okay, we're rolling. We're okay, rolling. everybody, we're super rolling. Okay, everybody, meet Sam. We're on like take 500 of how to teach people how to use Libby. This is how we spend our Sunday afternoons it's now. It's very easy. It's super easy. Okay, so now we're going to zoom in on Sam's phone. Okay, so Sam, the first thing that you're going to do is to download the Libby by Overdrive app. How do I do that? You go to your app store, Sam. Okay. Or whatever the equivalent is on an Android. I don't really know a lot about Androids, but you Android people, you know how to get to the app store. So you download, oh. whoops, let's see. Zooming in, yep, that's the one. Libby by Overdrive, yep. Okay, oh, there she is, see that, that little girl? It. That's her, download her. Okay, now the other thing that Sam is going to need is a library card. And for those of you that don't have one, I understand that there are some of you out there who maybe haven't been library users before who might be more interested in getting a library card. So if you need to go through that step, please contact me at maraedler.lib at gmail.com. And then I can set you up with a library card. So now the Libby app is going to walk you through some questions. So the first thing it's asking is, do you have a library card? Do you have one, Sam? I sure do. You sure do. Tell it yes. Okay, now it's going to ask you which library you use because many of the libraries in the state offer this service. So you can search for a library or you can guess my library. Now the last time I tried to guess my library, it thought I was in Illinois. So I would recommend that you search for a library. Yep, and then you can just enter in either the library's name, but since nobody can spell Gudekunst, it's okay to go with your zip code. Look at knew who we were. There we are. Select Gudekunst. Okay, then you're going to highlight the one that's in green. Very good. Now here's where you can enter your library account number. I'm going to pan here to the dog while Sam enters that because we all know that that is private information. Tell me when you're ready, Sam. I am nearly ready. Okay, we're almost ready. In the meantime, meet Ruby. She's taking a Sunday nap. Okay, now we're back. Back to Sam's phone. There we go. Sam, did it also ask you your phone number? It sure did. Okay, so it's going to ask you for your phone number that um, has to do with your account. All right, so then look, there's Sam's Libby library card. And uh, then you can, the part where Sam's thumb is, that's where you will look to verify that you have the correct account number. Okay, press next. Great. Welcome to Bridges, Sam. We made it. We made it. So this is where you can now download e-magazines, you can download some videos, you can download audiobooks and e-books. Now at the bottom of Sam's screen you'll see two words. One says library and one says shelf. Okay. The library is, think of it as um, the public library, that is where you will search for materials. And then shelf, can you click on the, thanks Sam. Shelf shows you what you have checked out. So right now, Sam doesn't have anything checked out, um, but um, it would list your loans. Most of the time, you can have three items checked out. Um, right now, Bridges has expanded that to five. However, please think of it, uh, please think of your um, Bridges checkouts as toilet paper, and please don't hoard material. So if you feel like you really need five items at one time, that's fine. But remember that we are all sharing um, this collection of over 100,000 items, which is a lot, but it's being shared with many libraries across the state. So um, check out what you need. You can reserve as many as 10 items and, um, and check out up to five at a time. So happy searching. Have a great time. Um, Call me, or I mean, email me at maraedler.lib at gmail.com if you have any questions. Oh, sure, Sam. Show me how to search for a book. I forgot that part. Thanks for coaching me. We're not going to do another take of this, everybody. This is what you get. So this is where you can search for a book, and you can, um, oh, what's he going to get? Oh, he's looking, oh, a Dickens fan in my household. I love that. Okay, so there's great expectations. Oh, Sam, that was a good choice. So see how the top one there says place a hold? Okay, that means that somebody has that, there's another Dickens fan in this state. So somebody else is reading that, so he could reserve it. But look at the next one down there. See where it says borrow? Go ahead and click borrow there, Sam. 
that's where you'll check it out. See, now you are borrowing for seven days. You can also uh, borrow for, for 14 if you'd like. Click on borrow, please, Sam. And then from here, it's going to download the book. Now, if you are interested, um, if you want, yep, go ahead. If you want to, um, you can do this part at the library if you would like. If you are not wanting to use too much data, um, you can go and do the downloads at the library. There's your book. Yep, keep scanning through. There it is. Perfect. It's a long one. And there is Sam's ebook version of Great Expectations. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me know if you have any questions. This is just going to broaden your horizons more than you ever expected. So uh, have a great time um, playing around with bridges. And take care, everybody. Be sure to remember to wash your hands. Thanks so much. We'll talk to you later.